Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Today for Sunday with Adam, I'm going to be recreating one of my Maraji's special recipes. The no bake vanilla cheesecake with strawberries. This recipe is perfect if you are a busy mom or if you're a dad trying to show off your chefy side uh, or if you're a student uh, staying at boarding school or at uni and you're trying to impress your friends or your special friends then this recipe is definitely for you before i start cooking i'm gonna go play some music to get me in the mood perfect uh, so the first step is to get some digestive biscuits and to crush them into a powder, a fine powder. So since I'm only making a small portion today, I'm going to be using about five digestive biscuits. So that's five biscuits in there, so seal that up. Make sure there are no air bubbles in it, so when we uh, start uh, to uh, crush it, then it, the bag won't pop. So once you're ready and you've got however many biscuits you want in there, then you can start crushing. So. So once you've finished crushing your biscuits, uh, then you can mix. So you can put it in a bowl, take out the bag. Okay, I forgot to spill anything. So once you've got your crushed biscuits, you can go ahead and mix in one teaspoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. And then we can go ahead and mix that. And now we can add in a bit of melted butter. So not too much, just a bit at a time. After adding butter, then you should get this kind of consistency. Not too wet, but not too dry. Just enough to make it clump together and you should be able to press it down into a base like that so once you get that consistency then you can set the biscuit crumbs aside for a second and we can start working on the actual cheese of the cheesecake for the cream bit of the cheesecake what you need to do is get a top of cream cheese and since yeah, I'm only doing a small portion, I'm going to be using half the top. Half of that there. Okay, so half a top of cream cheese in there. And next thing to add is a dash of vanilla extract. Now, one tablespoon of icing sugar. Go. Add that in. The last thing to add in is a squeeze of lemon. So, I'm going to take a lemon from here. Ooh. Yeah. Cut that in half. Just a little squeeze. And now we can start mixing. Mm. Oh, that smells nice. 
can't wait to finish this because that means I can eat. Now in a separate bowl, take some double cream. Uh, so I'm going to be using half of this pot to go with the cream cheese. So just pour that in. Okay, and now we can start whisking. So this is the consistency that you want. Not too thick, so make sure you don't over whisk it, but creamy, just creamy enough like that. Then when you've got this consistency, then you should be able to mix this in with your cream cheese. Okay, now I can start putting in the cream with the cream cheese. Now just slowly fold in the cream cheese and do it double cream. can already smell the lemon and that looks like a really nice creamy consistency hopefully it'll taste good too oh I actually forgot to say the jumper that I'm wearing is actually uh, my mom and she's jumper um, and yeah surprisingly nearly all this clothes are perfect fit for me so yeah um, on special occasions like this but like now when I'm recreating one of his favorite recipes um, yeah I like to wear his clothes there we are now we have all the components of the no big cheesecake ready so all you have to do is to put them all together so i'm going to go choose out a cup to serve it in so okay so I've got a few colors here we could have the white one or maybe red. I think I'll stick with white here. So, picked up, picked up a cup, and now we can start to assemble the cheesecake. So our first layer is the biscuit the biscuit crumbs that we mix with butter and sugar just now so take a bit and put it on there and pack it down tightly so that is our first layer done now for the next layer we're gonna add some strawberries so um what i have here are some fresh strawberries and i'm gonna add in i'm gonna chop them up and i'm gonna add in some raspberry coolie now the original recipe for sunday with adam uh, that mama used uh he actually made his own strawberry compote but because i want to make this recipe easy for anybody to make uh, I decided to substitute the strawberry compote for fresh strawberries and raspberry fruit fruity. So that means that even no matter where you are, even if you're living at boarding school or you're at uni and you don't have access to a stove, then you can still make this recipe. So these strawberries uh, I've already washed and now I'll chop them up and then we can go ahead and put them in on top of the biscuit crumbs as the next layer okay strawberries are all cut we can start putting them in to there
Okay, raspberry pudding. Drizzle that on top. Yeah, so just drizzle that there. Okay, so so far we've got the biscuits and the strawberry, the strawberries and the raspberry pudding in, and now third layer, cream. So take some of that cream. Now repeat those same three layers again. So, biscuits on top of the cream that you just put down. Now it's time for the finishing touches. A squeeze of strawberry syrup. And a sprig of mint. And there you have it. Voila. That is my recreation of Mawaji's No Bake Vanilla Cheesecake with Strawberries. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really well. Um, can't wait to taste it. It looks really yummy. So it's time to taste the product of all my hard work. But the first bite should go to the man who deserves it the most my hard working dad the man behind the camera so come let's have a taste let's taste it <laughs> yeah okay okay it's been like a man again no mm. how's that Is it good? It's not bad, yeah. <laughs> Is it okay for first time? Yeah, it's not bad for the first time. How much would you rate it? Um, Out of 5? 4.5? What? That's Why? generous. For the first time, you have to try, to try harder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me try now. Right. Okay. How is it? Proud. <laughs> mm. That is actually much better than I expected it would be. Um, you guys should totally try it out because I'm pre I'm very sure that you'll enjoy it a lot, uh, both making it and eating it. Uh, but of course, may Allah reward Mamaji abundantly for sharing this lovely recipe with all of us. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that I might have been able to help you make your own no-bake vanilla cheesecake with strawberries. Um, yeah, as always, please do like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Um, yeah, thank you for watching once again and happy Sunday with Adam. So I have one last question. Yeah? What should we do with the mint? Do we eat it? Mm. <laughs> I mean, 
I guess you can eat it if you want.